Robert F. Kennedy Jr. poses with his hand in dead bear's mouth before dumping it in Central Park as link to reporter who broke the bizarre story emerges. So there's a video of RFK Jr. telling Roseanne how he dumped a dead bear in Central Park and staged a hoax, making it look like it was a bike accident that killed the bear cub. To be honest, I don't think he thought it was a big deal. He yeah. thought it was going to be funny, but uh, it is illegal. A variety of laws were broken. They are not serious laws. And now I guess the uh, the reporter actually got a photo that someone took of the dead bear oh, fake boy. biting his hand. Um, yo, RFK Jr. is sounds like a fun guy to hang out with. <laughs> Can we just say like how cute Roseanne is? She's so cute. <laughs> Is this the whole video? I was taking a group of people falconing and uh, to York. He was taking a group of people falconing. Of As course. One does. Of course you were. As yeah. one does. A typical, Just casual all American Typical thing. Kennedy outing. There at like maybe eight or nine. I was driving up maybe, you know, really early, like seven. And that woman in a van in front of me hit a bear and killed it. <laughs> a young bear. So I <laughs> look at Roseanne's face, and I picked up the bear and put him in the back of my van because I was going to skin the bear, as one does. And it was very good condition, and I was going to and put the meat in my refrigerator. And you can do that in New York State. You can get a bear tag uh, for a roadkill bear. And so then I we went hawking, and I had the bear in my car. Hawking. And there then is our... we had a really good day, and we went late. We were catching a lot of game, and the people really loved it, so we stayed late. And instead of going back to my home in Westchester, I had to go right to the city because there was a dinner at Peter Luger's Steakhouse. And at the end of the dinner, it went late, and I realized I couldn't go home. I had to go to the airport. And the I just got to pause real quick. So Ch real, real quick, chain of events. He's falconing. Yes. Woman hits a bear. He takes the bear. Yes. Then they go hawking. Is that what he said? They go hawking. Finding lots of game. Then he decides to go to Peter, Peter Luger's steakhouse. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. Then he says, oh, I got to get on an airplane. No, no, hold on. Did he have his suitcase with him and his change of clothes already? Yeah. And what, what was he thinking? Did he not know about these things? Before he put the bear in his trunk. My favorite I'm thing just, is the bear has been in his trunk this whole time. Yeah. Like he's been going from like New York <laughs> yeah. to like down to Brooklyn. Like he's, like he's in the Hudson Valley. He's with down a in, dead baby bear uh, in his car. Can he's I just, in Brook he's in Brooklyn and then he drove to Central Park with it? Well that's what I mean. He is yeah, That's a bit of a drive. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Did, did he say Brooklyn? Peter Luger's is in Brooklyn. It's in it's it's like uh So then he drove the, it's right. It's like an hour yeah. to drive from Brooklyn to Manhattan. It's a yeah. it's a pain in the butt to drive. Yeah, I mean, also from like drive to New York yeah. right. to yeah. Brooklyn yeah. is but like what? I mean, minimum two hours, I would think. Where was he? Goshen, New York. He said. Oh, so he was far up there. Yes. So he's and then like he's like road tripping with this bear, <laughs> banging let's, down let's, the let's, highway. Let's, it's let's, like a let's, very weird. I just want I just want to mention. It's weird, isn't it? The weirdest thing about it to me is I, I get if he's like I want this bear, I'm gonna skin it. It's it's cool, but he had his change of clothes and suitcase with him to go flying or did he just not bring anything with him to go flying? He's just raw dog in that flight. <laughs> He's <laughs> just know? like, look, I'm going to land where I got to land and I'm good. Uh, I'll, I'll get he always has a go I bag with it. him at yeah. any time he has to get on the flight. He's a bear skinner and a go bag. I mean, Typical right. Kennedy fair. Right there. <laughs> I laid the dead cub on the tux. Let, let me play the rest. The bear was in my car and I didn't want to leave the bear in the car. Sure. Um, Makes sense. Because <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> so then I thought... You know, at that time, this was the, 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 the little bit of the redneck in me. There'd been a, a series of bicycle accidents in New York. They had just put in the bike lanes. And so people, a couple of people had gotten the hands of was every day. And people had gotten badly injured. Mm. Every day it was in the press. Yeah. And so I thought, uh, I wasn't drinking, of course, but people were drinking with me who thought this was a good idea. And I said, well, I had an old bike in my car that somebody asked me to get rid of it. I said, let's go put the bear in the center. What is he car. driving? How <laughs> big is this car? <laughs> yeah. Fun, funny for people. So everybody thought, that's a great idea. So we went and did that, and we thought it would be amusing for whoever found it or something. What? Uh, the next day, it was like, uh, it was on every television station. It was the front page of every paper. And I turned on the TV and there was like a mile of yellow tape and there were 20 cop cars. 
there were helicopters flying over it. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do? And then they were, there were some people on TV in Tyvek suits with gloves on lifting up the bike and they're saying they're gonna take this up to Albany to get a finger printed. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> You know what? Forget everything. I want to know what Kamala Harris's position is on storing dead bears. Where are the Democrats to leverage their favorite word weird against uh, luckily, this? Um, the, uh, the story died uh, after a while, and, uh, and it stayed dead for a decade. And, <laughs> um, the New Yorker somehow found out about it, and they just, they're going to do a big article on me, and that's one of the articles. So they asked me, the fact checker is that. You know, it's going to be a bad story. Right? Oh. <laughs> he tweeted, let's see how you spin this. I'm like, bro, you dumped a yeah. dead bear in Central Park. Can What's you, to spin? Can you imagine being Roseanne who like this story as it goes on and you just never know where it's going to go. Yeah. Right. Like it starts with like, well, I was hawking and or falconing with people. And then there was a dead bear and I thought I would get meat. And now I'm at a steakhouse. Now I'm going to the airport. I actually have a bite like. Amazing storytelling by RFK, I have to say. Oh, so I guess the the, the actual story from the New Yorker dropped, and mm -hmm. that's where the uh, let's see if we just scroll down and uh, what is this political cartoon? Uh, let's scroll down and see if they actually published the photo. Is that it? I don't want to read this garbage from the New Yorker. It's always so long. Yeah, very pretentious, you know? and it's very, very important. pretentious. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't think they actually published the photo. Did they? I, I tell? Oh, them. there we go. There it is. Yeah, just a little bit of photo. <clears throat> Yeah. They say, uh, let, let, let's read their version. One day in the fall of 2014, Kennedy was driving to a falconry outing in upstate New York. When he passed a furry brown mound on the side of the road, he pulled over and discovered that it was a carcass of a black bear cub. Kennedy was tickled to find. He loaded the dead bear into the rear hatch of his car and later showed it off to his friends. In a picture from that day, Kennedy is putting his fingers in the bear's bloody mouth, a comical grimace across his face. After the outing, Kennedy, who was then him. 60 and recently married to Hines, got an idea. He drove to Manhattan, and as darkness fell, entered Central Park with the bear and his bicycle. A person with knowledge of the event said that Kennedy thought it would be funny to make it look as if the animal had been killed by an errant cyclist. The next day, the bear was discovered by two women walking their dog, setting off an investigation by the NYPD. This is a highly unusual situation. A spokeswoman for the Central Park Con uh, Conserv uh, Conservancy set, told the Times, It's awful. In a follow-up piece from the Times, which was coincidentally written by Tatiana Schlossberg, one of JFK's granddaughters... <laughs> <laughs> a retired Bronx homicide commander commented, people are crazy. That year, Kennedy moved to, with Heinz to L.A., where he soon became acquainted. What was the point of that story? It's basically, as he told it, he gave a little more details. Well, I will say this is probably not even the worst body a Kennedy has buried. So. <laughs> they well, they usually, they usually leave it in the car and just get Dude, rid of the car entirely. It is JFK's granddaughter who wrote the New York Times story about it. I heard that, and on my morning show, I was like, is what? Schlossberg? And I looked her up, and she's a Kennedy, yeah. and I was like, that's JFK's granddaughter, so that's like what his cousin, or like I, cousin once removed or something. I mean, they're a huge family. They're yeah, the Schlossbergs. I, I are think those the New York Times publishers too. Are they? Mm. I think the um, uh, your cousin's kids are still your cousins. It's just cousin. It's mm -hmm. not removed or anything. I could be wrong, but I remember thinking it was weird because like you I don't. Think have, that's correct. Yeah, it's like your cousin's kids are still just your cousin or that's something. That's why you say like my baby cousin and that means something my like cousin's that. daughter. <laughs> I actually think they did this story uh, a disservice. I think RFK's telling is so much yeah. better. Yeah. I think the details that they dropped really added to the vibrancy of this like bizarre day in the life of RFK. Uh, I actually think also, I've, ever since he calls himself a redneck and I kept thinking like, you're not a redneck though. Uh, I do think this- you're You were right. First cousin once removed. Okay. okay. Cool. I'm glad that you, that knowledge, that chart <laughs> that I read eight years ago has stuck in my brain. Uh, but I actually think that, you know, this weird story about like we had this roadkill and we were going to do something with it might resonate with some people in America. You know, there's someone it's, out there who is like, oh, yeah, there was a deer. So it, what, we could cut it up. Shoulder. What's amazing is is RFK can actually go through this entire story and and it comes off far more endearing than anything Kamala Harris has ever said ever <laughs> in her life. I got to admit as crazy as the story is, I would not recommend dumping a dead animal. Uh, RFK seems like a fun guy, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I want to hear more stories from him. I want to go falconing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, yeah, I like so his I'm falconing and I find a dead bear, right? Like, what would be great is to be hanging out with 
with RFK that day because you'd get to go falconing, hawking. You'd get a steakhouse? nice drive down down to down. Get a go to a steakhouse. Yeah, steak. You go to Peter good Luger, steak. which is great. Yeah. Then you get like a nice trip to Central Park with a bunch of people, so you know nothing bad's gonna happen. They're all drunk. There's a bunch. Yeah, everybody's drunk. <laughs> well, <not laughs> and you're well, he's the one driving his hatchback, so and he's you know, the one committing the, the crime. So you're good. You know? Soberly, he was like, you know what, drunk people, airport. good idea. <laughs> and where's he going in this? Where's what's what is this? day two of this? And where's he putting his car? What's going on? Well, and if, if someone said if someone said, "Hey, there's this cool bear story with Roseanne Barr and RFK Jr.," you would have probably assumed that Roseanne is the one that had something to do with the bear. But right? Yeah. No, nope. no, I wouldn't RFK. have assumed that. Well, I told you honestly. this, which is I was in the grocery store and got this news alert, which is like yeah. presidential candidate admits to jumping dead bear in Central Park, and I, of course, because it's Central Park, so it's New York, I was like. Trump? There's no way Trump did this. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, it's so much better than it's one RFK. of his kids who are into hunting. Right. It's so much better that it's RFK who like will not be put in a box. You know, yeah. he's in New York going to this elite event, and also somehow he has a bear in his car. Right? I just imagine him wearing one. a cape as he was doing all this too. Like I was falconing, and then we hit a bear. Like a velvet smoking jacket. Yeah. So I was, I was of course, you know, as per SOP, going to skin the bear. But then also like a John Deere hat. <laughs> yeah. Is apparently redneck. <laughs> It's it's an amazing story. Really, I, one of America's and best. And like LL Bean boots, somehow. Yes. Yeah. It, you know, they, you're right. LL Bean boots because that's like yeah. working man, but from New England. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering if they try to bring any charges against him over this. It is illegal. But, but it's, it's, it's what's, what's the statute, the statute of limitations, limitations on, on right. dumping I mean, bear body? Like yeah, the 80s bear but the statute of limitations so? are upon discovery of a crime. So in like the Trump case, the they said Trump did it back in like 2017, mm -hmm. and then did nothing. So they they accuse him of it and it did nothing. So it's beyond a statute of limitations. This is the first time people are discovering that it, it's it's like it's like a minor misdemeanor. It's like fifteen days in jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, but so, they also but like, they said they sent the bear up to Albany for fingerprinting, I guess, or some sort of forensic bear. I mean the bike. Sorry. Do we still have the bike and or the bear in some kind of evidence locker? I mean, this is hilarious. It's kind of sad and weird. No, like I, cryogenically you, frozen. No, you know what happened. You know what happened. They they ran the fingerprints. They got back and like, not another freaking kid. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing <laughs> to see here. We don't we don't want the headache. He just is going to donate to a bear conservancy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got to be honest though. Like In a they, minivan fund. I I really I'm I'm willing to bet they got RFK Jr.'s fingerprints. Sure. Uh, and when they ran the prints He's on the bike. They've probably done all kinds of weird stuff. It's not that. Um, uh, I worked at uh, American Airlines, so my fingerprints are in a federal database forever. Mm. And every law enforcement agency has access to them. Do you know when I was in third grade, they trooped my entire elementary school to the police station to be fingerprinted? We did that what? too. Yeah. yeah. We did that. They Your were parents like, let this happen? Well, they it's didn't a normal know about thing. They're it. Like, it was a normal thing because yeah. there was all the like missing children. You get your ID card. Oh, no, no, no. We, we we did it as like a, this is what fingerprinting is like. Yeah. Well, that's what and they told we were, us. And then we were all too, excited to do it. We fingerprinted each other in my high school forensic science class, but it didn't, as far as I know, go to any sort of we, database. When I was little, we did the footprint. Oh, we didn't do that. It was stranger danger. So it was like mm. your kid's footprint taken because now it's just like, give your kid a CIA tracking device, you know, <laughs> cell phone, I mean, yeah. and uh, you'll never lose them. And then they'll also have access to the most ungodly, horrifying images man has ever created. It's crazy. It's true. Yeah. We don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Don't give your kids cell phones. So who else do you think was with RFK on this <laughs> Falcon retreat? Well, the New Yorker Ooh. found them. That's that's a, like apparently how they figured this this thing out. So how many people could fit in? Look, what, we, we, okay, in what kind hatch? of? <laughs> yeah. well, there was a couple <laughs> vehicles. There was a couple vehicles. They weren't all together. Well, look at was it? That's he, well, because remember he said that the lady in front of him hit the bear. Well, but that's not clear to me. He knows yeah, her. doesn't mean he knows her. Oh. So this, uh, you could, I don't know what this vehicle is, but I'm sure someone looking at it could figure out what it is pretty easily. And then we can figure out how many seats it has. But I, I, I bet it has. It could fit five. I bet it's got, you know, driver, passenger, and then three in the in the yeah. back seat. So this car, either they have multiple car or it's one car that has now a bear as well as a bicycle and his friends. Whoever the car manufacturer is, if they don't do an ad saying comfortably seat six and RF a dead baby bear in the back. <laughs> RFK should come back on this show and tell us this story again <laughs> in more detail. Thanks for watching this clip from TimCast IRL. Make sure to check out the live show Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. on this channel. Subscribe and we'll see you all there.